Hey guys, this is Mike Johnson, and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about cookies. And not the kind that you eat your mom makes you, or the kind that you give to Santa Claus at Christmas, but the kind that's, you know, picked up by you every time you visit a website. And why is this important? It's important because with the new GDPR regulation out there, um, one of the things that a lot of websites are getting wrong, including me in the beginning uh, part of this, is cookies and what the requirements of the GDPR are in reference to cookies. Now, the thing that in the past, the European Union already had, <coughs> excuse me, already had a law in place that governed the use of cookies and that people who own websites had to get consent from their visitors that they were going to use cookies when somebody visited your site. And all you had to do is say, hey, I use cookies to personalize your your visit and to conduct marketing. By using my site, you agree to the use of cookies. And that would be that. That's the old European Union regulation. There's more to it than that, obviously, but that's that's the basic down and dirty version. Well, the new GDPR regulation is much different. And if you have people that visit your site from the European Union and citizens of the European Union, you, know, you are subject to the GDPR and you must comply with their cookie consent policy. And the cookie consent policy means that not only do they need to approve and consent, but they need to know what cookies uh, they're getting when they get to your site as well. You know, it can be used for marketing. Is it just going to be used to personalize their experience? Are you going to retarget them? You know, they're supposed to be, you know, aware of all this. So there's a distinct difference to what some websites are doing out there and what others are doing. And right now in the early stages of the GDPR, um, it's probably not going to, you know, be a, a huge deal because they know a lot of sites and a lot of businesses are still wrapping their head around these requirements and trying to dig into it. Well, I dug into it and found out that this is a definite and real part of the GDPR. And there is luckily there's solutions for it. Now, I'm going to show you easy solutions. And I'm going to show you tough solutions. But the first thing I want you to, to see is what the difference is from a, a good solution and a bad solution. And I know I've already recommended uh, plugins for this, but um, this goes a little bit farther than any plugins really are offering right now, except for maybe one or two. Now, if I go to my old host that I just left, I go to their website, go to A2 Hosting's website, you can see here at the bottom of the screen, they have a, a banner here that is their cookie consent banner. It says, we use cookies to personalize the website for you and to analyze the use of our website. You consent to this by clicking on I consent or by continuing the use of this website. Further information about cookies can be found in our privacy policy. Click on I consent. Now, on the surface, this sounds like it would be enough. And um, you go to the privacy policy and you see that that you agree with the, the cookies that are there and you consent. But this is still actually what the old policy required. And before, you know, U.S. sites wouldn't worry about putting something like this on it because, you know, we, it was only focused on European Union-based websites. Well, now U.S.-based websites or sites outside of the European Union are trying to figure this out, and they think that the old European Union policy is good enough, but it's not. This, this is old, and this is not good enough right here. Now, if you go to uh, another hosting company, SiteGround.com, which I recommend, you go to SiteGround, you can see here you have a very different cookie policy. You see here by it says in the banner here at the bottom of the page, it says by browsing our site, closing this message or clicking accept all cookies, you agree to store cookies and by us and third party partners, cookies enable, blah, blah, blah. And it goes on and it has a link to their privacy and cookie policies here, which is good. 
But what it also has here is a manage settings button or link. And this is what sets what you're supposed to do apart from the old European Union law. So if I click on manage settings, you're going to see here, wow, a whole lot of information comes up. And this is powered by one trust, one uh, definite good solution out there. But you can literally go through each of the cookie types here and see what's being used here by SiteGround. And then, of course, their full cookie policy when you click on that link. But, um, and you can turn these, you see here, targeting cookies, inactive. You can actually turn this on or turn it off. So, same thing here. I can turn these off if I do not want these cookies. I can pick what cookies I'll accept and what cookies I won't accept from this site. And, of course, this is normally just for people from the European Union, but sites like SiteGround and, and even A2 Hosting are trying to show this to everyone. They don't want to take any chances. They're giving it to everybody. Now, you can do that or you can do what I'm doing, which is I'm using a geo IP detection service for for the cookies. And I have a specific service that I'm using that's one of two or three out there that I recommend. And first off, One Trust is definitely a good solution. And let me click off of that. But go to um, my right link here. And go to my site here. And just to give you an idea of what can be found on your site and what you need to provide. Here I have what's called a cookie declaration. And my cookie policy on the Starter Academy site, you can scroll down, you can click on the cookie de declaration, come to the cookie declaration page, and basically goes through, it says here, like for me right now, it's identify me, your current state, allow all cookies, necessary preferences, statistics, and marketing. And I can change my consent here. I can withdraw my consent. And you can see here, cookie declaration last updated and by CookieBot. CookieBot is the service that I'm using. And if you go down through here, you can see there's just a massive, massive amount of cookies. And you see the thing about WordPress is, is even when you delete something or delete a plugin, a lot of times that stuff is staying on your site. So not only have I found that I have a huge amount of unnecessary cookies on my site, I've now going into massive cleanup mode to get rid of most of those cookies. What I also found that is a lot of affiliate links on my site have cookie or creating cookies from a plugin that I have. So it is actually creating tons of cookies just from affiliate links that I have. And it makes it look like there's hundreds when it's there's you know a lot of affiliate links in my database, not necessarily a lot of affiliate links active on the site. So just because I have them in my database here on the site, it shows them as a cookie. So now I have this massive amount of cookies that I need to clean up, which is a good thing to, to figure that out. But um, as per the GDPR, I have to declare this and show this and give people the opportunity to um, consent or not consent if they're from the European Union. Now, I am using a geo detection system through CookieBot, and as opposed to being free with CookieBot specifically, if you have a 100-page um, website or less, you can use their solution for free. But that being said, you also can't really edit settings on it very much and uh, you can't geo uh, detect. You have to show it to everybody. So um, for $10 a month, if you have under a 100 page site, which I'm sure most of you do, um, under 100 pages, then you pay $10 a month and you have, you only show this um, 
your cookie declaration to those people who need to see it, who are from the European Union. So that's what I'm using now. And But here's the even more important part. Um, this plugin, this service, actually integrates with things like uh, Facebook, the Facebook Pixel, um, Google Analytics, um, so high-level um, things like that, and it helps you to make sure that you're getting cookie consent for those items as well. So it is a, a, a fantastic service. Now let me show you if uh, I'm actually on the page. If you go to CookieBot, it actually shows you what what kind of banner you would be showing on your site. So you can see here, this website uses cookies and says basically the same thing as the SiteGround site said. And it has your necessary cookies, preferences, statistics, and you can check these on and off. Let's see here. And then you can click on the show details. And you can see where it'll show all the cookies how long they last session means just for the as long as you're there you're on their website and then this goes to a year for cookie consent and you have preferences statistics marketing and unclassified as you can see there so and then of course you have information about cookies and the cookie declaration and privacy policy so all of that is what's required um, by by law through the GDPR and when you consent then all you do obviously is click on OK and now it stores that information um, I've created a um, account with CookieBot that allows me to get you to sign up and get the the uh, same kind of deal that I got which is a one month free trial that allows you to, to test out the functionality and see if it's for you. Um, the one thing I want you to know for sure is that this isn't something that you um, might need or might want to think about. This is something that you definitely, definitely need to have. Now, I don't want you to think CookieBot's the only one. One Trust um, is a great solution as well. And I believe they're around the same, maybe a little bit more. Um, and then you also have iUbenda, uh, which is a, another service, but it's not quite as uh, um, thorough as this, and it doesn't have the Geo features. The Geo feature for $10 with CookieBot is really the only, only place I know of that has that type of feature. Now, before I stop the video, I kind of want to show you how some of these tools, you know, integrate and allow you to kind of keep from, you know, having the cookies automatically um, delivered. Now, I have... Oh, I'm on the wrong side here. Let me go back. In inside of WordPress, I have a plugin that I use called Pixel Your Site, and Pixel Your Site is a, and actually the Pro version is a plugin which allows you to put the Facebook Pixel on your site, so you can you know build audiences, track who you're you know, try to build out who your customer avatar is a little bit better by building custom audiences um, through use of the Facebook tracking pixel. And I also use the Pixel Your Site Pinterest pixel as well. Now, the great thing about this plugin, this tool, is Pixel Your Site has integrated with CookieBot. And because of that, it won't deliver the Facebook pixel unless um, somebody you know, accepts to do that and then if you go into the settings for it it will you scroll down here you see GDPR consent settings and down here and I have cookie boot it's actually cookie bot plugin and it will allow you to integrate that system in there and 
Pinterest is actually a part of that whole GDPR setup. So anyway, that's in there. And then the other thing that's in there as well is the Monster Insights plugin for Google Analytics. It, the pro version of Monster Insights integrates in with so Monster Insights integrates with it as well. So uh, that's it for that. The uh, this down and dirty. I know this GDPR stuff is 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 not stuff you want to hear when you're trying to build out your business, but it's important stuff to know. Once you have it set up, it, it basically runs itself. You get thing all this going, and then you can you know, move on with your business and not have any worries. Um, real quick, if I go to uh, settings here, just to kind of show you, um, you can see the cookie bot has their plugin. You see I have their code in here and it really doesn't have much to it. Just auto updates and add a you know, cookie declaration to your website. It has a short code here that automatically does it once it scans your site it'll scan your site and put everything on and it shows you how to uh, protect different tracking scripts if you add new stuff to your site so it's a very very excellent tool to help you protect yourself and protect your business with from the gdpr and any kind of uh, neg negative uh, impact that will come from it. Well, that's it. I just wanted to do this quick down and dirty video for you so you understand uh, a little bit more about GDPR, a little bit more about cookies.